good morning Facebook and YouTube. Happy Monday, it's Jeffrey with House Carpet Cleaning. We're in Happy Valley today. Um, cleaning up a home, um, three bedroom house that uh, um, got some people getting ready to move into. So really we're going through and we're cleaning a house that's already been cleaned in the past. Who knows how long it's been set on the market. So there's probably dust and stuff like that that most people are concerned with. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go through, I do have my UV lights, um, this was a Christmas gift, so it wasn't a $300, $400 flashlight like some of you guys are sporting around, but it does a fine job, like you can see a little bit of fluorescence in there. Um, the previous owner supposedly had a pet, but I'm not sure what we're going to be able to find or detect. Um, I did slap a new bag in here, so that is the Kirby is ready to go. And I will be investigating. I'm looking for signs of um, pet urine or anything like that that we might need to throw some OSR on there to get it cleaned up. However, um, first things first is just to go through and get as much dry debris out of the carpeting as we possibly can because dry soil accumulation turns to mud during the steam cleaning process. And um, depending on how thorough a carpet cleaner is, kind of depends on how much debris they're actually able to get out of the carpet. So, sure, you can make the surface look great and awesome and clean, but what's really lurking below the surface? I mean, those contaminants is what is uh, crucial to your family's health and breathing, whether the air you're breathing is free of contaminants or not. So anyways, we're going to go through, we're going to do that process. Now, with a vacuum cleaner, um, for you guys who, or even the homeowner, if you have a vacuum cleaner, um, this is one that happens to be a Kirby, and it has an adjustable height. So when you're cleaning carpets, you always want to make sure that you reset that height and get it um, set into the optimal position. I already have it set, but um, just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to go ahead and reset it back to the most the highest position there on the vacuum then I'm going to turn it on and it's going to get pretty loud because the the motor is pretty loud in these guys so there we go I'll try to talk over the, the motor but what you do to set this thing to the optimal height so you have the best airflow and that beater bar you know bouncing the carpet around so that it can pick that debris up you're going to want to begin clicking it down until you hear it hit the ground. You hear that? That right there, it's just made contact with the carpet. And then you're going to want to go down one more. And that right there is your optimal spot for backing the carpet. doesn't matter if you're using a, uh, a Kirby or whatever. As long as you have an adjustable height vacuum, that is how you set that bad boy up to get as much debris out of the carpeting as possible. Pre-vacuum analysis, okay, we went through, we pre-vacuumed everything in this house. We are dealing with very uh, tight-knit um, nylon carpeting here. Um, when you're cleaning with a wand, this carpeting is ideal because it keeps uh, a tight um, suction or connection to the floor. So, yeah, it's really uh, keeping your, your water recovery pretty 
pretty darn good as far as you know being able to work that engine that motor and um, get that water heated up um, however we went through very 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 little soil and we probably only picked up maybe five percent of a bag of just dirt so dust so very very little soiling going on in here if we had picked up like half a bag or even a full bag um i would have uh kind of changed the way what i'm thinking right at the moment right now i'm thinking we can do an encapsulation cleaning pretty much throughout the entire house um with the exception of maybe those two spots that i had pointed out earlier back there that had to do with you know possibly urine but chances are um running over it with a crb and a good um oxidizer is just going to take care of it anyways so um when we go this route regardless of anything else we always extract the stairways and the reason for that is because the ball nose of course is going to be taking the the most brunt of the you know walking around anyways so um stairs get hammered more than the rest of the carpeting in the house so we're gonna go ahead we're gonna extract these because that's what we always do but the rest of the house very fine soiling no hardly any contaminants or basically no signs of pet or anything like that in the carpeting either so i feel very comfortable doing a crb encapsulation in here and i believe what I'm going to be using is Master Blend's um, soap-free product with a scoop. Let's do two scoops of uh, the Nitro of um, Magic One's Nitro product to give it even more oxidizing power. Um, the Master Blend stuff does have oxidizers and stuff already built into it. However, I have been using um, Vacaway's Detonator, which is pure peroxide. But um, we're switching it up now because I believe that the Magic Wands Nitro is probably a better product and a better bang for the buck. So um, I'm always looking for being able to offer the customer the best value and um yeah the best value the best bang for the buck the best that i can possibly do for the customer and it allows me to keep my cost down it allows me to uh bring the cost down for the customer and it makes my value appear to be more you know more cost effective, better value in the customer's eyes. So that that's where you start building your perceived value is um, better products, better cleaning results, lower cost.